Ariel Hawani in Buffalo for UFC 210 alongside Patrick Cote, who meets Tiago Alves this Saturday live on pay-per-view. And dare I say, the best dressed man here in attendance. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at Patrick Cote with that, uh, what is that, TVA, T uh, RDS money that you got? Uh, no, it's from uh, Sommezer, a nice company from, uh, from Montreal. They uh, provided me a, a couple suits and uh, this one is probably level 1000. It's this amazing. something else. I, I, lo I love that suit. It's like Don Cherry, you know uh, Don Cherry? Oh, it's better. Better, I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> um, so we're pretty close to Canada here. This is a big fight for you, of course, coming off uh, your last fight in June. And it's been quite some time since we've yep. seen you fight. I know you were dealing with injuries is that why you took this long break uh, a lot of things uh, dealing with injuries I got a uh, elbow surgery I became a father too so now I have congrats a, thank you I have a very nice baby girl now so I wanted to you know take time just to enjoy that and not rushing anything because I fought four times in one year last year and I felt tired you know mentally tired uh, when I fought the Cerrone you know I, I realized that after so I took time off and uh, you know what I just wanted to get rest my body but you know, mentally too. And now I'm very, very happy that I took that time off and I'm 100% now. So this is your first fight as a father? Yeah, exactly. Do you feel different the way you approach the fight, your task on, on Saturday? Like, does it feel like you're a different person? Not really, not not, not now, not in the prison. You know, the, the most hard, hardest thing for me that was to, to, to leave the house, uh -huh. to go train, you know, leaving my, my little girl behind. But when I was at the gym, you know, that was the same thing. You know, for me, this is my job. I do that since, you know, 15 years now. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. But you know what? I think my, my best teammate is my wife. You know, she, she, she make my life a lot easier. And uh, that's why I was able to come here and one of the best shape of my life. You know, um, some people, including myself, have said that this is a, a thin card. Like, you know, there's some good fights at the top, but it's not one of the more loaded pay-per-views. Do you hear that sort of thing? Are you bothered by it? And do you feel like, okay, I'm going to shut these people up. I'm going to prove to them that, you know, I'm going to I'm going to make it worth their while if they pay sixty dollars to buy this pay-per-view. I understand what you mean because you know I'm working in the media yeah. too, and so I, I'm I'm kind of. You know, making this kind of comment sometime sure. too, and uh, you know what? It's it's hard to say that you're not right for sure. That, but you know what? Uh, UFC 206 in Toronto, everybody was saying the same thing. That was one of the best or the best pay-per-view in uh, in last year. So uh, you know what? MMA, it's like that. That's why it's so so nice. I mean, because you never know what you gonna gonna expect right. from from fights. I truly, I'm gonna tell you something, man. My fight against Thiago Alves, it's gonna be a firework, you know. Both, we want to get back in the winning uh, column, and he's two losses in a row. He has his back against the wall, and for sure, I'm close to to the border. There's gonna have a lot of Canadian coming to uh, to Buffalo to cheer for me. So it's gonna be a fantastic fight. Are you surprised to see him back at 170 so soon? Uh, actually, he missed weight pretty yeah, bad yeah. in his last. But he didn't fight, even but. try to do it again. But you know what? He, he made a good point in this uh, couple of interviews. He said, you know what? Making sacrifice to do one, 155 and you know giving hard time to my body and not making more money because of that. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, so why you know suffer you know that much to make 155 and he can't make it. So and he had a you know what? When you you saw his only the loss he had in 170, it's again top 15 guys. Yeah. You know, so he had a, he had a title fight at 170. So I can see why not coming back at 170. So I'm happy, you know, it's a nice matchup for me. I know I'm going to have probably the size advantage. I'm going to have a bigger guy. I think I'm a better everywhere. I have a more power. He's a fantastic striker, but we got a couple uh, couple surprises for him. You talked to George about fighting him? Uh, not really, but you know what? Like, like I said, I'm working a lot of media, yeah. so I saw I saw so many fights. I, I know him, you know, by heart. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I know ve him very well. He's a veteran like me. We we are in the sports in so many years, so I don't think he's gonna come with something that's gonna surprise me. But you say that you have surprises for him. Like what? Can you tell us now, or would that ruin <laughs> the surprise? You'll see. You'll <laughs> see. But you know what? I'm I'm really really good shape. I'm you know I'm mentally in good shape. That's the most important thing for me. And uh, you know I'm going. I'm going to, in, the, in that fight, you know, 200 percent confident that I'm going to get back uh, on the winning column. I think my fight IQ is better than him. I understand more the game now. Uh, I have a lot of experience and, uh, you know, I'm, I just can't wait. My weight is good and uh, I'm ready. What's it like for you to see some of the guys that you came up with, you know, most notably Tito Ortiz now retiring? Do you feel like you have to, you know, prove okay I, I'm not done just yet I'm sure you don't want to be done but a lot of those guys that you were fighting against and on the same card with 10 years ago are now starting to walk away from the sport how do you react to that oh the, 
time is it's coming. Yeah. Time is coming for sure. I'm not I'm not stupid. I know that uh, you know it's it's coming pretty soon. But I'm you know I signed a new fight contract. You know four fight deal. But like I after said, Wonder Boy. Uh, Excuse me, Cerrone. Uh, yeah, after Cerrone. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you know it, one fight at a time. You know I never said that I will finish that contract. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm not. But one fight at a time. Now I'm 37 years old. I'm good with my future. I'm good with my after career. You know, I, I pre did prepare that. So I'm fighting because I want it and not because I need it. And it's 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 fun. I'm doing that because I'm still enjoying that. But uh, yeah, it's it's close. And perhaps a, a good sign for you, the Habs are in town tonight, yep. playing here. Win tonight, and then you come on Saturday. And are you going to go to the game? Yes, I'm be, I'll wow. be at the game. All the team, we're going, uh, going to the game tonight. Wow, that's great. Great timing. So yeah. great to see you and your beautiful suit, and good luck on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, man. <laughs>